Flags. We're here in upstate New York demonstrating our telescoping flagpole. I'd like to start by making sure you understand exactly why ours is the best in the industry. Let's take a closer look at the pole itself. It is made of aircraft grade aluminum, 6005 T6 aluminum alloy. The base of our 20 and 25 foot flagpole is three inches in diameter and has been extruded to 80 thousandths, making it 30 to 40 percent stronger than our competitors, which is also why we can boast a 95 mile per hour wind rating that's fully extended with two flags attached. So why don't we go ahead and take a look at how we, exactly we um, are going to extend our flagpole. Obviously, if you look close enough, you're going to see that we've eliminated the need to use a rope and pulley system. So let's start by raising the first section. You simply pull up on it and wait for it to catch on the second section, like so. Put your left hand on the second section, lift with your right, twist to the right side, about a quarter inch turn, and lock it into place. Then go ahead with the next section. And so on to the third. This particular flagpole is 20 feet tall and it is being demonstrated in our brand new dark bronze, which replaces our old bronze color. It's already become a huge fan favorite. So just like we lifted it up easily by pulling up on each section and locking it into place, you're going to do the exact same thing, but swap it to lower the sections. So you're gonna lift up on it, twist it to the left, and go ahead and let it drop like so. An important thing to keep in mind with this particular um, locking system because it is an interlocking sleeve design, there's no way that the wind can shake it in such a way that's going to um, unlock the gauge and drop it. That's not gonna cause any damage to your flagpole. But go ahead and take a look at this. Even if when you are lowering it yourself, you happen to slip and drop the pole, we have installed a polyethylene buffer on the inside, which is going to keep the parts from hitting together. So you don't have to worry about there being any kind of cracking or damage on the inside. Another beautiful thing about this buffer is it actually seals at each section when you lock it into place. So that's gonna keep all of the elements out of the inside of the pole, keeping it nice and dry. You're not gonna see any rain or, or snow or anything getting on the inside of the pole. Let's take a look now at our um, swivel rings. The swivel rings are made of Lexan, a very strong plastic that will not dry, rot, crack, or brittle. They do have a UV protectant in them. And each of our clips are made of stainless steel. The beautiful thing about this design is our flagpole is attached to the swivel rings, giving it the ability to fly freely 360 degrees around the flagpole. So you're not going to see it getting caught or, or um, stuck on anything. It's also going to help preserve the life of, of the flag. Let's take a closer look at the flag now. You'll notice that it is made in the USA, very important to us. It's a four by six premium nylon flag. It's a solar max, so it is fade resistant. Each star is, is a stitched star. And you'll notice on the edges here that it is a quadruple stitching with an X box in the corner, which is going to help reduce any type of fraying. This is included in our flagpole kit. In addition to the flag, you'll notice that there is an anodized aluminum gold ball ornament on the top of the flagpole. This is a beautiful addition and really just um, finalizes the overall look. This particular pole, because of the bronze, I think is a very colonial look. It's very regal. It's become very popular. And it's the kind of thing that you have the ability to change and really alter to whatever particular style that you have at your home. In addition to our anodized aluminum gold ball, we have um, different attachments. We have a gold eagle. We have a natural color eagle. Um, and if there was anything in particular that you wanted to do to replace it, it's just a basic uh, half inch screw on top. So it's very easy to, to remove. Let me go ahead and show you that actually quickly. Like I said, a basic half inch screw. While the anodized aluminum gold ball is actually off, I'd like to go ahead and, and show you something um, that's a very important addition to our flagpole. We actually have a solar lighting kit, and this is very important because many people may not realize this, but your flag is actually supposed to stay lit at night. Um, there's a lot of flag etiquette actually out there, and it's important to us that people are educated on this. 
So why don't we go ahead and try using that um, solar kit right now. So here we have our solar powered 20 LED orbital light system. This is an accessory that I highly recommend for your flagpole kit. On the top of our accessory we have the solar panels and on the bottom you'll notice that there's the orbital 20 LED lighting circle. I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly how to install this in the flagpole. You're going to take your gold ball ornament and just unscrew the bolt. Insert it into the top of your lighting kit. Place it on top of the flagpole and simply screw it in place. Extremely easy installation and an absolute must for every flagpole. This is going to give you the ability to keep your flag lit at night, which is a very important part of flag etiquette. If you are not aware, it's very important to make sure that the flag never stays in the dark, but even in the evening it is lit up so that all can see its beauty. Let's go ahead and show you how this raises easily on top of the flagpole. Next, I'd like to show you exactly how you can fly the American flag at half staff. This is a really important thing also to keep in mind if you're going to follow proper flag etiquette. So right now we have our flagpole completely lowered and what you're going to do is remove the top of the, the top of your flag from the top clip like so and remove the bottom. And you're simply going to lower both, both loops of it. So you're going to put the top of the flag into the clip in the center, the center swivel ring. And then you're gonna put the bottom in your lowest swivel ring. And then you can go right ahead and, low and raise the flagpole. Next, I'd like to show you how you can fly two flags on your telescoping flagpole. Let's go ahead and take a look at this right here. You'll notice that the American flag is already situated with the top being on the top swivel ring and then the bottom of it being on the top of the, the center swivel ring. So simply to add a second flag, all you're going to do is find the top loop. We're using our patriotic eagle flag, which is one of my personal favorites and also a huge fan favorite. You're going to see why in just a moment. All right, so go ahead and take the top and attach it to the bottom of the middle swivel ring. Then you're going to take the bottom ring and simply attach it to the third swivel ring. And then you just go right ahead and raise your flagpole. One section at a time. And there you have it. Two beautiful flags blowing in the wind on our telescoping flagpole. One last feature that I would like to share with you, I'm sure you're going to love. This entire flagpole is only about 20 pounds in weight, and it is not permanently installed into the ground. Only a ground sleeve is. So in the event that you would like to remove your flagpole for any reason, whether you want to put it in a different location in your yard, you're moving to a new home, you don't want to test our wind rating, anything that you can think of, if you would like to remove it, you simply bring the flagpole to its lowest position, Thank you.
and you go ahead and you lift it out of the ground sleeve. Just be sure to remember to install the red cap in the top so that nothing gets inside your ground sleeve. There you have it, the telescoping flagpole. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen about our product. We are certain that you're going to love it just as much as we do.